Okay, here we go. We are on air with uh, Candace Hackenbach. Uh, thank you very much, Candace, to be with, with me today. You're and, welcome. Um, yeah. yeah, we are um, in, in different places. So Candace is uh, in the US. So then I, I will let you introduce yourself. Um, and then we are in Italy, and uh, we are you are the, the, the first our first American customer that uh, we had. So it's uh, really a pleasure to, to have you and uh, have a, a chat with you today. And uh, uh, Candice is a, uh, the, the marketing manager of uh, Industrial Flow Solutions. And uh, I would like really to hear from you what's, what you do in, a, in Industrial Flow Solutions and um, what's your answer role, Candice. Sure, sure. So I am the marketing manager at Industrial Flow Solutions. Uh, we are a pump and control solutions manufacturer uh, based in New Haven, Connecticut in the U.S., Uh, but we also have a factory in Italy, um, in Monsalice and uh, Drano, Pompeii. Um, we also have um, a facility in the UK uh, where we focus on making controls. Um, and we are expanding into the you know, European UK markets currently. Um, and we also serve um, Canada, the United States and Latin America. Um, so we have several brands that we offer. Um, BJM pumps and Stancor pumps, which are made here in New Haven in the U.S. Um, the Overwatch, uh, which is the, the video that we just worked on um, with your team for that brand, um, that's produced in the United States, and we're also tooling up to produce that in Italy as well. Um, and the deragger controls, which are produced um, in the U.K. and New Haven. And as I mentioned, Dreno Pompe. Um, produces uh, submersible pumps for commercial and residential use in Italy. Um, we just acquired that company about a year and a half ago. Um, so as I mentioned, we're, we're expanding within the European markets um, and very excited to be doing so. And that's actually how we got introduced um, to your company um, through one of our Italian colleagues. So, Wow, very, really very a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, a, a lot of um, challenges, I, th I think, I guess, for you, yes. Candice. Wow. And, uh, and, and so what, what's your, your, uh, what was your goal about uh, doing a, a 3D video you, to, to explain what you do? You know, what, what, what is the goal at, at the beginning? Sure. So our goal, um, you know, as I mentioned, as we've been expanding outside of the Americas region, um, we kind of came to a point, especially with the Overwatch, which is a kind of a groundbreaking technology. It's a different way of thinking about um, wet wells or sump, sump pump pits. Um, our challenge there was to figure out a way that we could produce a very visual um, asset that would explain the technology across many languages. So, um, you know, we came, you know, to meet with you guys, saw some of the, the video examples that you shared with us and thought it would be a really great way to describe the product and its benefits in a way that's visually easy for people to understand. Because obviously seeing something rather than just reading about it um, is, is a huge um, benefit uh, when you're trying to sell Of a very technical product. So we, we really liked the idea of the 3D animated video so that the viewers could really see the technology and understand how it works um, in, in a video format. So that was our goal really, is to create something that we could use on our website, on social media. We could use it in the US, we could use it in Europe. Um, you know, something that was really versatile And, and something that could be used globally, especially, you know, we're, we're continuing to kind of pave our way into areas like Australia. So some of our potential customers there have seen the video. They've loved it. It really translates well. Um, we did, as part of the project, we did do um, voiceovers in a few of our most common languages where we have our, our broadest customer bases, um, which is great. But this video also allows us to bring it into areas that we may not have done the translation and the viewer still can understand and appreciate the message. So I think that was our goal is to really create something that could be used globally 
um, and that would be very versatile. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I I, I totally agree with you because you, the goal, I think, it was to, to create a tool that mm -hmm. could help you to expand in uh, in different countries and uh, with with the only one tool that could speak for you in some way and uh, and and do it in the, in the clearest way. You know, because yeah. uh, as you said, some way in some in some moments when you try to explain very technical things it's not said that the people could uh, uh, comprehend the, the, the real uh, differences between maybe you and, and, and your competitors. And, uh, exactly. and so the, the, the capacity the, to explain really uh, clearly you know, what we were doing, it could help you to uh, get more customers, I, I think at least get more leads to, to convert, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, as I mentioned, we're, we were looking to use it in a number of different ways too. So not only on the website and social media channels, but um, on video screens at trade shows and for our salespeople to be able to show, you know, to their potential customer or to their existing customers in a face-to-face -face meeting. So in the short time that we've had the video launched, it's been, I think, about a month, just yeah. about a month. Um, we took it to uh, our one of our bigger trade shows in Texas. It serves pretty much Texas and the whole geography around that in the United States and put it on a video screen in the booth. And it was it was show stopping traffic. So people stopped and wanted to know what this was, what they wanted to learn more, which is exactly what our intention was to give the viewer um, an idea of the technology and how it is groundbreaking and how it's different and make them, you know, ask for more information and, you know, lead into more conversation. So we've already seen, you know, high engagement on social media, um, click throughs to the website. We've seen it in person at trade shows, um, you know, just sort of the attention that it attracts. And even our own team, to be quite honest, was shocked. Wow. Um, They, it really exceeded their expectations and there has been nothing but positive feedback about it. Um, so we're, we're really happy um, with the outcome. And I think that it'll be used, you know, we've um, taken the, the footage and kind of chopped out a little piece of it to tease on social media. Um, it's, it's really been a very versatile tool so far and we've only even had it, like I said, a month. So We're, we're very excited and, and everyone has had such positive feedback and we're very happy. Wow, really, really thank you, Candice, for, for this feedback. And, uh, and, and now what I would like also to ask you, you know, because it was like a, um, different cultures, different way to work. So uh, how was the, the experience with the video animate team about everything, you know, because also the... The communication between you mm -hmm. and the Marsha in this case, and also because you know that the challenge was to uh, explain something that is difficult. So for you, maybe it's difficult to explain to us, and to uh, for us, it's explain uh, difficult to comprehend, and then mm -hmm. retranslate that in in your language or in your culture. Um, I, I have to admit that the the team that was set up. It, it was perfect. Um, I think that we had, you know, from our side, enough technical people um, to help provide the background and the, the general technology for Masha um, to be able to give to your team. I, I think that everything worked very smoothly. Masha was very clear upfront with, you know, this is how the process works. We start, you know, I believe we started with the text um, and the copy you know, kind of collaborating on that. Um, then we moved to, you know, storyboarding. The, the process was laid out up front. So we knew what was going to happen, which I think was good, especially some of the, the people um, from the industrial flow solutions team have never been through a creative design process before. So it was new for them to understand why you do things in a certain order. Um, The storyboarding process, you know, there's there's different um, phases of that. So 
it was new for them, but I think that your team did an excellent job at communicating what the process is um, so that they understood it. Um, so I would say, you know, it was an excellent experience. I think that, you know, the project management of it on Masha's part was perfect. We met regularly, you know, as a team and had touch points when we needed to, you know, get certain edits done or, or things like that. But I think despite the time difference and language differences, there, there was no, no issues on our part. We were, we were very happy, you know, we delivered on time, um, on budget. Well, I have to say we were over budget, but we made the decision to do that. Um, just as part of the, the storyboarding process, we realized that we needed, I think it was 30 seconds of additional time. So we made the decision actively to do that. But again, even with that, Masha explained everything very clearly, you know, gave her recommendations. And I think that, you know, we landed at perfect video length. We got the messaging across that we needed um, and we made it in time um, for the trade show that we wanted to to take it to and debut it. So from from our standpoint, it was a pleasure to work with your team. Um, deliverables were provided on time as promised. Um, you know, we've even added on a, a couple of languages that I need to work with Masha to get done. The, uh, the Portuguese and the German were adding onto the list. So we quoted that separately and that'll be a follow on project. Um, but yeah, overall, very good. Um, and it, we're definitely excited to figure out which product we want to work on next and get agreement from our leadership team on budget. And, and get on to project number two. So we'll, we'll definitely be working with you guys again. Super, very, very super feedback. And uh, really, really thank you, Candice. And then one last question that uh, I would like to hear from you, mm -hmm. that watching the video, I had the, the, the impression that uh, the, the, the product perception was increased, you know, through the 3D animation, because mm -hmm. we, we are, uh, still uh, talking about something very technical, maybe something that you can see in, in the real is not presented uh, in some way so easily. So I would like to a uh, feedback from, from you from for this. Yeah, and I think that's a great point. That's exactly what I think our sales team was impressed with. I think they thought it was going to be a simple video that just sort of went around the product. I don't know what they were expecting, but when they saw it, I mean, they were floored. They, like I said, it exceeded expectations that they had. So I think that being able to highlight certain parts and features on the pump itself in that 3D way, the viewer can see areas of the pump that they normally wouldn't be able to see you know, if we were even doing a live demonstration, there's just, you know, technically things you, you can't see, but where you guys can highlight and call out certain features and, and functions um, was key. And then, you know, some of the animations um, that we've gotten really good feedback on is where in the beginning where you can see the well, like filling up with water and you can see that the water is smelly, like to be able to convey that that there's odor in that way and, and kind of show what the real problem is, captures people's attention right off the bat. And then it's just a bonus that you can show features of the product and you can even show the, the different configurations too was a huge thing that you can show the, the triplex version at the end because that's not something that we always have in the factory ready to show people. Um, that's more of kind of a customized solution, but that's where you can verbally tell somebody, oh, you know, we can customize, we can do whatever, but to show it in that way really is um, impactful and, and important, I think, for the viewer. It, it helps them understand on that next level um, that goes beyond what you can do on a slide presentation or even in an in-person meeting in front of the product. So um, this is exactly you know, what we had hoped to have this, this piece to not only use 
for new customers, but even to show existing customers. And it's a tool that like our distributors have asked for copies of it. So we've had to, you know, give them a link to it, put it out on YouTube so that they can show it and sell more of them. Um, Cause I think it's, it's helpful all along our sales channel. Wow. Very, very, very impressive, I would say. And uh, I, I want really thank you, Candice, for uh, all uh, the, these feedbacks that uh, make us really, really happy about our uh, our work. And, uh, yeah. and we really hope to to ha can help you again and again and again. Yeah, we're like I said, we're very excited. We loved working with Masha and the team. It was a great experience. Um, and I'll say it was something that our team looked forward to. Like sometimes, I'm sure you know, like projects can drag on or every week you've got recurring meetings where they can become um, a little bit tiresome, but this was always a, a good meeting and, you know, a good plan. And I think we had a really great experience and we're looking forward to, to doing more work with your team. Super. Kenneth, I really thank you and hope you to hear from you very, very soon. You will. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Super.